Call him, officer. You got you right. You have to call. Hey, phone, 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 police. Nick, phone, police, fam. Get his radio. Give it to him. Give it to him. I don't believe you got any insurance on the vehicle. Is it what your vehicle? Do you want? I don't think you got any insurance on your vehicle. Well, think what he wants to think. Where so have you got? Right. No, you're not going. Sir. No way. You're not going. Have you got? Sir. Hello. What do you want? You got no insurance on your vehicle, sir. Can you move away? Where are you going? Can you move away? Where are you going? Move Let's away. Draw me on the pavement, please. Where are you going? He's tried to get back into his van to leave and I've stopped him. For which, for that, he's punished me in the face twice. I've arrested him for assault on police. We've then had a physical, pretty much a physical fight inside the confines of his van, during which time he's broken away from me, grabbed the machete, and hacked me in the head at least five, six times. Only ending when he fell next, I fell over. I shot him with the taser, he's fell, fallen next to me and I've detained him with my taser until uh, more colleagues can arrive and properly detain him. Once he'd started hitting me in the head with the machete then I realised it was it was turning into a like it was escalating very quickly and I was having to now fight for my life and I did re I recall specifically as I was falling to the floor having fired the first shot and aiming for the second that is if this doesn't work this might be it. But luckily the taser worked, it did its job, he fell incapacitated next to me and I was able to use it to keep him on the floor and keep myself alive.